This is a shocking moment when an idiot tried to slow down the progress of an emergency ambulance that was responding on blue lights to reports of a male who had collapsed. On Wednesday the 2nd of February this year, paramedics in a marked ambulance for South Central Ambulance Service were driving along the A4 Bath Road, Reading towards Maidenhead, when 38-year-old Albert Butler deliberately tried to obstruct the emergency vehicle. Before we check out the rest of the footage, please don't forget to subscribe. It takes less than two seconds and really helps out the channel. Moments earlier, a dash cam fitted on the ambulance shows the emergency vehicle overtaking Butler, who was driving a red Suzuki Vitara. However, moments later, Butler of Windermere Road in Reading decided to risk not only the safety of the emergency ambulance crew, but also the safety of other road users when he overtook and tried to slow down the emergency ambulance. The emergency ambulance continued along the A4 and Butler proceeded to overtake other members of the public who had pulled over to allow the ambulance to pass. Butler then slowed down again, blocking the ambulance's path and he continued to block the path of the ambulance along Wargrave Road where he continued to brake heavily, weave in the road and enroach onto the wrong side of the road. The driving was captured on the ambulance dash cam and was also partly recorded by the ambulance crew passenger on her mobile phone. The shocking behaviour of Butler not only stunned the life-saving emergency ambulance crew, but also shocked other motorists as they let the ambulance by. How the idiot behind the wheel of the red Suzuki ever thought that he would get away with this disgusting behaviour remains a complete mystery. Thanks to the mobile phone and dashcam footage of Butler's ridiculous driving, it wasn't long before the long arm of the law caught up with him. The emergency ambulance crew lost vital minutes in their response time as they rushed to try and help a man who needed their life-saving assistance. Butler was later convicted of dangerous driving and obstructing and hindering an emergency worker. On the 11th of November at Reading Crown Court, Butler was sentenced to eight months in prison, suspended for 18 months, was ordered to complete 20 rehabilitation activity requirement days and was ordered to complete 200 hours of unpaid work over an 18-month period. He was also banned from driving for three years and was ordered to pay costs of £600. Mark Ainsworth, Director of Operations at South Central Ambulance Service, said this was the worst standard of driving suffered by one of our hard-working ambulance crews who were responding on blue lights to a potentially very serious emergency that I have ever seen. Our ambulance crews are highly trained, able to safely drive at speed when necessary, and I'm thankful that the vast majority of other road users are considerate when we need to travel on emergency lights. In this case, however, the senseless and irresponsible actions undertaken by Butler put himself, other road users and our ambulance crew at risk of serious injury or even worse. I have been in touch with the crew and thanked them for maintaining their professionalism at such a distressing time. I would also like to thank Thames Valley Police for their help in bringing the conviction and taking a dangerous driver off our roads for the next three years at least. Investigating Officer Sergeant Matt Cadmore of the Rhodes Policing Unit based at Taplow said, the manner of Butler's driving was completely unacceptable. In deliberately attempting to hinder the progress of this ambulance, he was putting other road users at great risk and at the same time delaying an emergency vehicle en route to a medical emergency. This sort of behaviour on our roads will not be tolerated and we will take robust action against anybody who seeks to drive in this manner. Butler will have to complete an extended driving test at the conclusion of his disqualification in order to get his licence back and has been given a suspended prison sentence which will be enacted immediately should he be convicted of any other offences. When you see an emergency vehicle with blue lights and sirens activated, please allow them to pass when it is safe to do so. Seconds can make all the difference when an ambulance is on an emergency call and the delays that Butler caused could have had significant impacts to the call that they were attending. But what do you think of the sentence that was handed down to 38-year-old Albert Butler and do you think he should be banned from ever using the emergency services again? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our team of former emergency services personnel, then please consider sending us a super thanks or by becoming a member of our channel 
by clicking the join button. YouTube's channel membership is basically their version of Patreon. And anybody who sends us a message with a super thanks in the comments is guaranteed a response. We'd like to say a massive thank you to these legends for already supporting our channel by becoming members. If you're interested to find out more, click on the join button or we'll leave a link in the video description. Please don't forget to check out our other videos and playlists. And the only way to make sure that you never miss any of our videos, other than hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, is by signing up for our free newsletter. Anybody can sign up for the newsletter. It takes less than five seconds. Until next time, stay safe out there.